do, okay, 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 okay. I do wanna let this dry. Welcome back. Today we are talking about some of my favorite high-end lipsticks. Now I just filmed a video that should have been my last video that I posted on my favorite drugstore lipsticks for spring and summer, and this video is kind of a counterpart to that. Now lipstick is one of my favorite things to wear, it's one of my favorite things to talk about, and I think you can find fantastic lip products at the drugstore. In fact, I think it's one of the best things the drugstore has to offer, and it's a great way to play with a lot of different colors and formulas. I just love drugstore lipsticks, but there are a few high-end lipsticks that have been really grabbing my heart lately that I felt like I wanted to talk about as well. I wouldn't say these are specifically spring and summery as much as the drugstore ones. They're just things that I've been loving that I think can be worn during any season. So I have four lipsticks here that I want to show you and talk about. We're gonna swatch them, which is why I have nothing on my lips to start out with. And then I got a little lip duo in the mail just now and i'm really excited about it so we're going to try on that at the end as well and see how it goes if you are new welcome i hope you will hit subscribe so i can see you here next time and also don't forget to scroll down to the comments and let me know what your favorite high-end lipsticks have been recently so i can pick up a few more all right let's get into it this first one i've probably been talking about for a few months now but it is that good and different, which I really like. It is the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the color Bound. I picked this up with a gift card over Christmas and I am so, so glad that I did because this is like nothing else I have ever tried and I love the color. It's that perfect kind of dusty, mauve color. So this is different than other lipsticks I've tried because it's definitely not a matte liquid lipstick, but it's also not a gloss. It's like kind of a cream formula that has a thinner consistency and a glossy finish, yet isn't slippery or sticky at all. There's nothing sticky about this. There's nothing drying about this. It just makes your lips look so full and healthy and luscious. It's so lightweight, yet comfortable, yet pretty, yet I can still get a long wear out of it. So I would say after about maybe an hour, hour and a half, the kind of glossy top to it wears down, but it still leaves something on my lips where if I press my lips together, I'll still be able to feel some moisture and there's color there and it's just absolutely beautiful. I keep wanting to try more colors of this, but I'm afraid that the darker colors might kind of slide around too much. I mean, I don't notice it bleeding outside the lip lines with this, but it's also kind of a more neutral color where I don't have to worry about it. If you have tried other shades, please, please, please give me a recommendation down in the comments because this is absolutely beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. It's just perfect. Another lipstick I've talked about recently, this was actually in my March favorites, I believe, is this Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Lipstick in Desirable. This is absolutely beautiful, and as you can see, I am almost out. I am definitely gonna use this up. And the reason this makes the list for me is because it's the perfect formula in the way it feels. It's the perfect color. It has a nice scent. It has nice packaging, even though I just have the mini one. And I feel like, especially for a high-end lipstick, to really be worth the money, it has to check all of those boxes for me and this one does as well. It's just a little bit lighter than my natural lip color, but it has enough pink and enough peach in it as well that it's not a nude that washes me out. And because of that, it's absolutely beautiful on fair skin. And for a traditional lipstick, it is very moisturizing on my lips. It has a nice kind of light vanilla scent to it as does the NARS. I think I forgot to mention that before, but it just, glides on the lips, it smooths over the lips, so it's not going to exaggerate any dryness or kind of any creases in the lips like more matte lipsticks do. It's just so easy to wear. I know that if I'm in a hurry, I can just grab this, stick it in my purse and go, and it works. It just works. I absolutely love this, and I am gonna buy the full size when I run out. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is actually two shades of the same formula. These are the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipsticks. If you are a long time Robin's Cup of Tea viewer, then you know these are like an old favorite of mine. I absolutely love Bite Beauty. I still have a little bit of bitterness that they replaced the Luminous Cream lipsticks with these because I did prefer those 
just a tiny bit and I preferred the scent of those, but these are lovely lipsticks and we're gonna talk about the shades Fig and Honeycomb. Now, Honeycomb, if you saw my lipstick declutter video that I did a while ago, Honeycomb is the most nude of all my nude lipsticks, but it still has a little bit of depth and I would say peachiness to it that keeps it from totally washing me out because I do go to like Casper levels pretty quickly. And Fig is just the perfect everyday pink. This just is so easy if you're doing a really minimal look and you wanna look fresh, maybe for like a work appropriate look. And I love both of these so much that what I'm gonna show you today is the two of these combined. So I put Fig all over the lips and then add a little bit of honeycomb in the center just to kind of tone down the pinkness if I don't want it to be too pink. And I would say this formula kind of stands apart from the other two I've talked about because it is not as glossy. There still is kind of some natural shine on the lips, but it doesn't have as much reflective sheen. It's a completely natural finish. It's also not matte at all. I still find it to be somewhat moisturizing on my lips in the sense that it doesn't dry my lips out, but it also doesn't add moisture into them, if you know what I mean. If you don't have dry lips, you might find these to be more moisturizing than I do, but it's lovely. It also has a thinner formula than the Estee Lauder. If you don't like to feel lip product on your lips, I don't mind that. In fact, I kind of like it because it feels more I don't know, protective on my lips, but this you get a lot of color payoff with just the lightest application. So you really can get that thin, opaque color. So yes, I love these. I picked it up in a holiday kit over the Christmas holidays, but I totally would purchase both of these in the full size. The only negative I have about these is that I don't love the smell. I wish it smelled like nothing. It has almost like a like a lemony scent. I don't know, it's kind of hard to put my finger on. Yeah, I would say it has a little bit of a lemon kind of, maybe they're trying to go for kind of an herbally scent, but it doesn't quite work for me. But remember, I am very particular and sensitive when it comes to scents. So it's probably not gonna bother most people. Okay, so those are the four lipsticks I wanted to share with you today, but now I'm really excited because I just opened up this Bare Minerals Meet Gen Nude Kit. It has a liquid lipstick and a gloss, and I've heard so many good reviews about this, and I've heard that they're really good for people that don't like liquid lipsticks, which is me, which is why I wanted to get this, and this set was like $15, I think. So I'm gonna take this lip off, and then we will see how it goes. So once again, I picked pretty neutral colors for these. I mean, for one thing, that's the shades the kit came in. But also when I do spend the money on high-end lip products, I wanna be able to get a lot of wear out of them. I don't want them to be just like a statement lip that I wear once every month or something like that. I feel like that is where drugstore lips come in handy. Okay, let's see, look how cute. I also just have a soft spot for mini lip products. All right, so let's start with the Mini Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lip Color in Boss, but instead of S's, they have dollar signs because Bare Minerals is thug. And these have a very similar scent to the NARS and the Estee Lauder. It's kind of that like cupcake, vanilla, frosting smell that a lot of high-end lipsticks have that I really don't mind. It definitely has that kind of like, like whipped texture to it. And this is essentially the color of my lips. Yeah, I would call this a my lips but better color. Maybe a little browner, I don't know. I should stop trying to talk and apply lipstick at the same time. That is really pretty. It's a little bit darker than I anticipated, but it's super pretty. Let's see a swatch of it too. My lip, my hands are really stained, but let's try. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more purpley mauve just based on the picture. I don't know why, but it's a little bit more nude brown, but 
like not ugly brown, like pretty brown. <laughs> anyway, I like it. So far it feels super lightweight. I don't feel it drying down to be really, really tight. Um, yeah, it's, it's good so far. I do wanna let this dry for a few minutes before I put the gloss on top. So I'm gonna go reply to some comments from you guys and I will be back in just a minute. Okay, so I didn't really look at the time, but it's been a few minutes. It's not completely dry, like um, transfer proof dry. It still comes off a little bit, but that is what I like. I do feel like it would continue to dry down a little bit more if I let it, but I'm impatient and I wanna try on the Gen Nude Buttercream Lip Gloss in Sugar. So here we go. Let's see what this color looks like. I think it's gonna lighten this up a bit, which would be nice. Oh, that's really pretty. It is a little bit sticky, the gloss, but um, you know, that does make it last longer. It also doesn't have the same smell, which is weird. I thought it would. It just has like a makeup smell, like they didn't put the fragrance in it, like the other one. So that doesn't bother me. It's just a little bit odd, but you guys, this lip combo, okay. I need you, let me know what it looks like on camera, but I think it looks really pretty. I think this gloss would go over so many different things. I don't know, I just got them in the mail and though it's not really totally relevant to this video, I thought it would be fun to try them on. So yeah, here it is. If you're interested, go ahead and pick this up. It was like, I wanna say $15 for both of them and you can get it at Sephora or Ulta. All right, so thanks for hanging out with me today while we talk about some high-end lipsticks. That's not usually something I talk about here, so you know that they're pretty special if they make it onto this list. Don't forget to scroll down to the comments and let me know what lipsticks you have been loving lately, at drugstore or high-end. I wanna know them all because I feel like I need more in my life. Hop on over to Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat and follow me at Robin's Cup, and I will see you guys here next time. Bye. I'm sorry there is no tut in this video for all my tut fans. You're just you're just gonna have to wait. But I have this necklace. Okay, so this necklace has these like tassels on them, and I put it on, and like literally 15 seconds later, he had already chewed one of them off. So yes, he got booted into the other room. I'm sorry, but he will be back next time. I promise. I think. <laughs>